Studies showed that if you keep a food diary six days a week compared to someone that keeps a food diary one day a week, you will lose twice as much weight as the person that only does one day a week. Is that not incredible? I track my food daily using the Fitness Pal app. I'm on the Galveston diet, and that means I am eating for optimal health for someone in perimenopause and on in their age. So we're talking usually anywhere from someone 40 on up. I am still perimenopausal at 53 years old and am loving this diet. I have lost 12 pounds. My first eight pounds I lost in six weeks. I was so thrilled that has not happened to me in a long time by following her macro counting in the refuel refocus and also following an inflammatory diet. It has changed my life. My family is now on it and loving it too. At the end of this episode, I'm gonna show you an amazing hack that you are gonna love to make quick soups at home for you, your friends and family. And remember, make a double batch. That's the best way to meal prep. Always make double batches. So let's get going and see what I'm eating for my first meal of the day. Okay, just got done with my um, swim and steam room and then an hour of yoga. So it's, I don't know, 1030 and I'm headed to Walmart. Uh, hurricane is coming, so I've got to get hurricane supplies. And uh, I knew I didn't have time. It was, it's early. So I didn't have time to like make some yogurt up and fruit and blah, 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 blah. So I don't want to be judged on my first meal of the day. Okay. Let's just have this caveat out there. I am an 80 percenter. Now, probably 15 years ago, I was a 110 percenter, but because I struggle with chronic pain, I have fibromyalgia and issues, my 110 or 20 percenter brain was causing me a lot of pain because I pushed myself too hard and it was legalistic and I thought I had to be perfect at everything. So I am happy with being a B, B plus student, guys, okay? So that being said, when it comes to a diet and that, I am not balls to the wall. I do Galveston diet 80 to 90% of the time. And today I'm having, oh, it's turned around. I'm having a chocolate protein shake. I think it has one gram sugar, 30 grams of protein. These help me. It is hard to get in 110 grams of protein, but that's what she suggests for my body type. So there you go. So um, cheers to breaking my fast. First meal of the day on what I eat in a day on the Galveston diet. Again, cheers. Are these the best? Um, I get these at Costco. I find them much better than the Orgain brand. And uh, yeah, they've got some vitamins in there as well. 160 calories, two carbs, uh, three grams of fat, and uh, lots of uh, chemical <laughs> vitamins in it. But you know what? I'm okay with that. I can, uh, you know, make it up somewhere else. So do not judge me. Judgment-free zone. Hey guys, one of the ways that you can support me is by making sure to subscribe to this channel, leaving me a positive comment, no trolls allowed, and giving me a thumbs up. Okay, here is my lunch. We've got cleaning out the fridge, half a black bean burger with cheese, and um, we've got broccoli salad here that has like onion, broccoli, and then the dressing is the slaw dressing you could buy at the store, but I made mine with mayo, vinegar, salt, pepper, and a little sugar. And then those blueberries are about to go, so I'm trying to eat those up. And then I got my um, chicken here, which is about four ounces. And I'm going to put some whole grain mustard with my chicken, kind of, to juice it up a bit. So that is lunch today. It's going to be super tasty. See, there's my mustard. Yummy, yummy. Okay, I'm starting my soup with this, um, two of these 
So that's two pounds of grown chicken. Now, do notice this has a 1% solution of vinegar and rosemary extract. Um, so it doesn't not, ha this brand doesn't have the chemicals. Um, they don't inject it with the chemicals. So I'm um, gonna add that into my onions and get that all fried up. We're going to salt and pepper this. One thing I'm not adding that you should if you were using store-bought bouillon, not bouillon, stock, um, is thyme. I made a stock and I have four cups here because um, I cook a lot of chicken because I feed my dog real food. I cook his food, yeah. She's a lucky gal. Anyway, so I make lots of stocks because of that. So my stock is already very rich with bay leaf and thyme, but you can add bay leaf and thyme right into your store-bought stock as you cook it. And remember, make a double batch. When you're cooking, this is the best way to meal prep for during the week, for lunches, um, an extra meal to put in the freezer, make extra. There's only two of us and I am making two pounds of ground chicken to go into the soup. This is a secret weapon for anyone wanting to learn to cook soups but doesn't have the time to do all the chopping. Picked Sweet has won vegetables for soup and vegetables for stew. I find them at Walmart. I can't find them at my like Publix, my normal grocery store that's the neighborhood grocery store. They have tomatoes, potatoes, carrots, peas, and corn in here. I don't think this one has okra. Oh, it has green beans. I think the stew one has okra and some other things. But this is invaluable in your soup making when it's quick. Now I'm gonna be adding Napa cabbage in here and also some extra carrot, but this is great. And because it has some starchy vegetables, it is nine grams of net carbs for three quarters of a cup, which is fine. So let's put this in, our meat is done. And here is our broth, it's four cups. Um, I'll probably add a little more, we'll see. I'm gonna put some tomato, little tomato sauce in there too. And I'm, I'm keeping my, what is it called? Uh, the Jewish folks call that schmaltz, schmaltz on top, the chicken fat. For all my Jew Jewish friends, gotta love your chicken fat. Oh, that was fun. <laughs> you could tell all the collagen is in there with all that gelatinous goodness. Sorry, my vegan friends, you're probably grossed out, right? Um, you can also use vegetable stock. In goes a can of tomatoes. You can use fresh. And I'm just gonna put in like a dollop or two of tomato sauce. Cause I like kind of a tomato base. I'm gonna get that all stirred in. I'm not gonna put my cabbage in yet because I have Napa cabbage and I don't want it to just like cook down and turn into nothing where you can't see it. So I'm just gonna let this cook for like 30 minutes with the lid on and then I'll put my cabbage in. Here's a tip for you. Pre-cook, this is another meal prep idea, pre-cook your barley or whatever grain you have for the week you're gonna choose and just keep in a container like this. I'm gonna, we're gonna have it in the soup. I'm not gonna put it in the soup to cook because it's already cooked. It'll just go in after. And, but you can sprinkle it on salads, make tabbouleh with it, um, put it in with your cottage cheese. Uh, there's so many things you can do with this great whole grain barley. Okay, been 30 minutes. It's looking good. I'm gonna turn it way low, just let it sit. I'm gonna give it a try, see if I need salt, pepper. Um, you know, now would be your time. If you think, oh, it's a little boring, what am I gonna do? You can add a little chili powder in there. Um, you could even add a, 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 you know, a little bit of a taco soup packet. Um, I've been able to find some good organic ones. Um, you know, um, now would be a time if you need to add some better than bouillon, like you don't feel like it has enough chicken flavor, your stock was bland. Some better than bouillon would be good in here, which is the soup, uh, the soup base, soup stock base. That would be awesome too. Now you can choose not to add in the cabbage, 
but I'm adding in the cabbage. I forgot to add in carrots or celery. I like putting celery in this too. Um, there's a little in that, I believe, but I would wa have wanted more celery. So I'm going to put a stalk of celery in here and well, you know, it's not going to get done. It already has a celery flavor because there was so much celery in the stock I made. So I'm not going to put celery in it this time, but I am putting my cabbage in. But if you choose not to, that's okay. Look at this beautiful soup. Now, I made it a little earlier. So after I put the cabbage in, I had it on super low for about half hour, 45 minutes. And then it's also in a cast iron. I turned it off and it's been sitting for two hours and it's still cooking at a really low temperature. But just look at how beautiful that is. Thanks so much for watching this episode. I'm glad you enjoyed. Let me know what you thought of the hack. Those veggies are so amazing, so easy, and just about anyone can throw soup or stew together when they have all those veggies there. It's so much easier. Thanks again for watching. And don't forget to subscribe below. Give me a thumbs up and a comment.